Kazuo has been out for a while now in Genshin Impact, and with Bellway Delta, he's one of the strongest characters right now. He is currently one of the most played support in the Spiral Abyss, even more than Venti. Now, Kazuo can fit very well, well into many different teams, and he do perform very well in all of them. But I feel like recently there is a little bit too much overhype on Kazuo, and more importantly is that people are forgetting why he is strong in the first place. It is true that he has very very good crowd control, but Sucrose and Venti also have really good crowd control as well. The real reason why Kazuo is strong is his ability to double Sorrow and do a double buff on your team comp. So what does that mean is that you can simultaneously buff two elements, in this case both Pyro and Hydro, and therefore get more damage than you would if you were to say to bring a Sucrose instead. So I'll demonstrate by doing it, right? So by applying Hydro, Pyro, and then doing a double Sorrow, you'll notice that Oh, I missed that Kaza or missed the child burst. But you notice that now I have pyro damage bonus and hydro damage bonus on both of my character. Right, so on Shang I have the pyro damage bonus apply and hydro damage bonus. On Kaza or on Chayo, I have the pyro damage bonus and the hydro power damage bonus. Right, so what that means is Kaza was able to swirl both elements and therefore giving him or giving both of those characters the uh, damage bonus. But that also means he's able to do the uh, Anemone Shred on both Hydro and Pyro. So both Hydro Elemental Resistant and Pyro Elemental Resistant has been decreased by 40%. So now you can do a lot of... Now you can do a lot of damage since both of your character has been buffed, right? And both of your character is currently doing a lot of damage on the field. But there's another dramatic factor about Kaza. You see, Kazuo have way better Constellation than Sucrose, namely Constellation 2. With Constellation 2, Kazuo basically outclassed Sucrose by a huge amount simply by giving a huge damage bonus. But not only that, Kazuo actually also have an insane weapon known as the Freedom Sworn. Freedom Sworn is another thing that buff your team by a pretty good amount and it's really easy to use on Kazuo. And for Wales kit players, they can have that at refined 5. On the other hand, the only thing you can use on the Sucrose is the free to play weapon Dragon Slayer Book, which of course is not as good as the refined 5 uh, Freedom Sworn. But of course, none of these constellations on Sucrose is actually that good. So for Whale player, aka 70% of the YouTube population showcases, Kaza is way better than their Sucrose. But for free to play for average player, your Kaza is honestly just a little bit better than Sucrose if you double Swarrow. So let's suppose we only buff one element, in this case Pyro. I will actually show you the difference between Kaza and Sucrose. So here my Kaza will have 821 elemental mastery and I'm using an iron string and then of course the full elemental mastery VV set. And then after this, I'm going to switch all these artifacts to Sucrose. Uh, so they're going to have the exact same artifact set, except my Sucrose is going to use the R5 Dragon Slayer book, which is the free-to-play weapon. So both of these are the free-to-play weapon option. All right? so let's start this fight up. Something you quickly notice is that when we're only buffing one single element, Sucrose will actually win here, which is currently on the right. And this is actually the expected results. Mathematically speaking, if you're comparing a free-to-play Sucrose to a free-to-play Kazuo, and you're only buffing one element, Sucrose will give you a bigger damage buff, assuming you're doing a reaction team. Of course, this is not to say that Kazuo is not as good as Sucrose. Sucrose doesn't work in Mono Pyro team or Electric team, where they don't do any Vaporize or Melt reaction at all. But when you're only comparing those reactions and you're only buffing one element, then yes, Sucrose and Kaza are more or less just as equal in fact with Sucrose and a slight lead. The reason again why Kaza is better is because he can do these cool combo which lets you double buff. For example, as seen. For example, here is a Melt Ganyu combo where you're able to swirl Cryo but also get a Pyro Infusion off. This lets you do Melt Ganyu on the Pyro Kazu ults but also getting Cryo damage bonus on your Ganyu. 
And here is a combo involving Hu Tao and Xing Shields and using uh, Xin Yan as a lighter. In this combo, you are able to once again swallow both Hydro and Pyro and therefore getting damage bonus on both your Hu Tao and your Xing Chiu. Once again, I'm not arguing that Kazu is not strong at all, he's definitely really really strong and he will remain to be strong in the foreseeable amount future. But I keep seeing people who are saying like, oh I cannot play with Kazu, Kazu is so OP I can't believe I missed him. Look, Kazu and Sucrose are honestly not that different. Unless you do double buff on Kazu, which by the way people are forgetting to do constantly now and that's the reason why I'm making this video. He's honestly not too strong and I feel like he's a little bit overhyped by Whale on the internet now. You have to remember guys that Whale have Constellation on their Kaza and they have Freedom Sworn on their Kaza which make their Kaza much 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 better than Sucrose. But for a free to play player like you and I, for like average human being like you and I, your Kaza and your Sucrose honestly have very very similar performance unless you're able to master those combo about Kaza. So the takeaway here is that yeah Kaza is strong but don't feel pressured by the whales on the internet because you wouldn't be able to achieve the same results I'll be honest. But second of all is that if you do have Kaza please don't forget to do those cool combo please go learn them because again if you don't go learn those cool combo if you don't do those cool combo your Kaza is honestly not as good as Sucrose. That's it for this video, I felt like this was important because people are forgetting about it. And uh, well, of course don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.